Uh, next one up, uh, Colin Kaepernick. He uh, trained with the Las Vegas Raiders. So um, this is an interesting one. He, so, uh, Kaepernick, as we discussed before, he um, you know he he was the one who, who led the sort of the, the protest against the American anthem and so on um, for you know, for Black Lives Matter, taking a knee for the American anthem. And, well, initially he sat on the bench, and then then took a knee. Uh, said he was black, you know, that, that he was uh, blacklisted in uh, the NFL, the teams would hire him because of his um, his protests. But he said, I mean, at his age and with a decline he was showing even before he sort of was blacklisted, does he have a chance to actually make it, even with a team like the, the Raiders? Um, I suppose potentially, and I suppose from the Raiders' perspective, what more can you ask in terms of it's a great publicity move to have Colin Kaepernick come in and train with them. Um, we also are going through a time where the NFL has serious issues in the background to do with obviously their treatment of black coaches. So there's a lot of rehabilitation needed in the NFL on so many fronts. And maybe it's the cynic in me looks at this and says, are you the team that's getting out first and being like, Colin's back training with us it's there, there's a cynical side to me that wonders because he is at an age where the best years in his career are probably behind him and then you have to question I question motivations in doing it it's great obviously for him because I, th I think from his perspective irrespective of the role he may play in terms of a long time long-term role with the Raiders if in fact they were to sign him um <laughs> and have him join the team fully. But like, if he's back with them on any sort of long-term contract, optically it's good for them. For him, I suppose it would show that he had reached a stage where he was no longer going to be the player that was blacklisted. Because even when people are coming out, even when Nike are running their campaign in support of him, no one's signing up to have him come back into the league. And perhaps that's more a sign of the control, not necessarily that the NFL as an organization has over the sport, a sign of the control the owners have and the idea of someone standing up to them and standing up to the league as a whole had led to them being blacklisted irrespective of the fact that probably the mass group of fans the mass group of external people were in support of what he was doing and that says more about the power of owners in that sport and i think when we see obviously brian flores and everything that's coming out about black coaches in the nfl this is possibly a really good signal of intent from at least one organisation that they're going to stand up and try and show some support. And we can, from his perspective, I think he deserves to be back with the team. I think he's 34 years of age. He's going to be, I think, 35 later this year. Um, the one issue, he was a very much, he was a very athletic um, running back as well. I mean, he, he's, you know, he, he was, Great running with the ball when he was well in in college, and with San Francisco, he took a lot of hits though, and a lot of people were very worried about him. He, he got you know he got he was picking up injuries, and he's especially his last season when basically San Francisco were absolutely t terrible um, in two thousand sixteen. Um, I mean he he you know I think he, he played or started eleven games. I think he played twelve games. And they were just awful. They were one and ten. So, you know, he wanted in many ways, he, he wanted a trade at that time. Uh, the San Francisco refused to trade him. And then, you know, he, he started his protest and, and everything went to pieces. One thing to say, if Tom Brady can play until, uh, you know, say late middle age, you know, he I think I can do it as well. Colin Kaepernick is, like, he, he practices yoga. He takes care of himself as well. I, don't think he drinks. I don't think he smokes. So, you know, there is that. The only thing I would say, though, is he's in a very different position to Tom Brady, which is a relatively protected position. And the one thing I would say is when you are, there's no substitute in his position for the ability to train in game-like situations. And it's very difficult when you've been out. Like, you can get yourself. It's why you see so many, particularly, actually, Irish rugby players, ex-Irish rugby players, you would occasionally meet them. And they look like... They're in great nick after playing a very heavy sport for years. But even though they're in great shape, if you put them on a rugby field in the morning, they're not going to do much in the sense that there is a certain amount of match fitness and training in game-like right. situations that definitely matters more in his position than Tom Brady's. But I do take your point. Tom Brady is still there. It gives hope to all of us. Exactly. And look, a different kind of player as well. 
difficult player. He is a passing quarterback, whereas Kaepernick is a running quarterback. And uh, 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 like at times he was wonderful. I've seen him playing when he was playing in college. He was absolutely unbelievable. But anyway, 